Hello viewers, we'll be going over Gush and Drip. In this video, we'll be using the day-by-day -day probability model as our support and resistance gauges. And these models are ba based on past trends that are similar to the current trend, but not identical. So do keep that in mind. So, so let's start off with the technical analysis. For Gush, it closed around 6.7% on Friday on the one-hour chart. We are now approaching to positive MACD after being oversold on the RSI. As for the 4-hour chart, we were also oversold on the 4-hour RSI, and we have seen a slight convergence on the 4-hour MACD. As for the daily chart, what we have here, we're still making lower lows, and we have not seen a, a sign of it reversing. One sign to reverse will be the 9-day moving average, converging onto the 18-day moving average, the blue and purple line. So let's examine the day-by-day -day probability model. So as we progress to the seventh day, we have a 60% chance for Gush to climb higher between 0 to 20%. And to the downside, we have an extreme case of it with a 20% chance of falling between negative 20% to negative 41%. And further extreme case to the downside, a 20% chance for it to fall between negative 41% to negative 62%. So we'll be moving using up 20% and down 20% as our support and resistance level. So if Gush were to climb up 20%, that price level is roughly around the range of, say, $36.70. And around that range, we see previous support level. And since we're below support, that now act as our resistance. And for the downside, if Gush were to fall 20%, that price range is roughly around... $24.16 and back then we see past resistance that dated back all the way to April 9th as well as April 20th and since we're above resistance that will act as our support. As for drip, drip closed below 7.5% on Friday and on the one hour chart we are approaching to negative MACD and as for the four hour chart we see it diverge and if we expand that further onto the daily chart for drip, we are encountering a slight resistance on the 50-day moving average, this yellow line. So now let's examine the forecast for drip. At the moment, we are using only one model and the sample size is small, so it's not statistically significant, so do keep that in mind. So we'll be using instead GUSH as our support and resistance levels up 20% and down 20%. So with DRIP, if DRIP were to climb higher up 20%, that price range is roughly around, say, $7.05. And back then we see previous support levels that dated back all the way to April 30th at around that range. And again, since we're below support, that now acts as our resistance. And if DRIP were to fall 20%, that price range is roughly around $4.00. 63 cents and around that range we also encounter past resistance and since we're above resistance that now act as our support and in this video we went over gush and drip and the models are available in the link below so do check it out if you enjoyed this content feel free to like comment subscribe and thank you for watching